For year six, or should I say hello to my wonderful new year sevens. My name is Mrs Hardy and I will be your head of year when you join us here at Hermitage Academy. Firstly, can I just say, as you can see, I'm filming from my own home today and I really hope that this message reaches you and your family safe and well in your own homes. You're possibly wondering what is a head of year? A head of year is the person who will offer you daily support, challenge, guidance and encouragement throughout your entire time here at Hermitage. You will be my fifth, sixth year group um, when you arrive and I have to say it's the best job in the world. I get so excited getting a new year group getting to know you and I genuinely mean it. I can't wait to get to know each and every one of you. Last week, Mrs Howe set you a challenge to prepare um, interesting facts about yourself ready to give to your form groups, your, your tutor. I just want to add a little extension to that task. So on your screen right now, you should see the slide from last week's video, just reminding you about what that task was. I want you to add in a little quirky fact, something that is so interesting about yourselves, because these are the facts that I love, especially the, the, the funniest, the better. A little fact about me, which people often think is a bit odd, is that I don't like ice cream. I'll be honest, I just find it too cold. So get preparing. What fact are you going to share with me? I was thinking about what to include in my video today and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to give you the same video that I give every single one of my year groups when we first come together for that first assembly, if you like. So in a moment, you will see a video and what I want you to do while you're watching that video is think, why is she showing me this? If you have any siblings who've been in one of my previous year groups, they will have seen this video too. But I just want you to think, what is the message of this video? Enjoy and I'll see you after the clip. Derek Redmond, the best form he's shown since he broke the British record. When you try your best but you don't succeed When you get what you want but not what you need When you feel so tired but you can't sleep Stuck in Come streaming down your face When you lose something you can't replace When you love someone but it goes to waste Could it be worse? Redmond has broken down He's on the track
Okay, so I I love the message of that video, and it's it's not just because I'm uh, I'm interested in sport. I do teach PE here at Hermitage, if I've not already mes uh, mentioned. But the reason I love that video is because I think it it symbolises um, your potential journey here at Hermitage. For some of you, you will start and finish that race with absolutely no problem, and you will go on to succeed with no issues. Some of you may need a little bit of support, and that's okay. That is what my job is. That is when I'll run onto that track and I will give you the support to get to that finish line so that you can cross that finish line on your own merit. All of my year groups are only asked to do a couple of things. I ask them to use their manners on a daily basis. Please and thank you costs nothing. But I ask you to try your best. Don't give up and aim for that finish line. And that's exactly what we've seen in that video. Derek Redmond could have stopped. He could have just waited at the side, but he didn't. He wanted to finish that race. He wanted to succeed and he got there. And yes, he needed a little bit of support, but it was his own momentum that got him over that finish line. Following on from my message about trying your best, I just want to share with you um, a, a poem which I really think does give that message of, of positive attitude and and having a positive outlook. It's called You Can. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win, but think you can't, it's almost a cinch you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world you'll find, success begins with a fellow's will. It's all in a state of mind. If you think you're outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win the prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or the fastest man, but sooner or later the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. So as we come to the end of my video, can I just let you enter a little secret? This has taken approximately 22 attempts to get right but I wanted to make the best video that I could for you guys to hopefully get you excited. So I'm hoping you have enjoyed it and I'm hoping that you're looking forward to coming to join us here at Hermitage. All that is left for me to say is I genuinely mean it when I say I can't wait to meet every single one of you. I've got a couple of messages that I've been asked to remind you of before I sign off. Firstly, your um, weekly task will be live on the website now. And as soon as I finish talking, week two's quiz questions will pop up. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all soon. Hello, I'm Miss Springhall, and I'm a maths teacher at Hermitage Academy. I have a maths question for you to have a go at. What I would like to know is what comes next in this sequence. So your sequence is one, one, two, three, five. What comes next? Good luck. Hi there, I'm Mrs Marshall and I teach business studies. So when you come to my lessons, we will learn about all how businesses operate, how they are set up and how they can become successful. So I would like you to think of three things a business must do before they even open their doors to the public. Off you go. Thank you.